What's shaking its bacon? And we're in here playing gun game. And this Call of Duty's been out for a good amount of time now, so I think it's safe to say that it's pretty fun. It's on the fun side of Call of Duty, especially compared to the recent ones we've been passed on. But I'm playing gun game because I was inspired by my boy, Venuity, who's been playing gun game in his videos and is now calling himself the king of gun game. You know, he's gotten pretty good now. At first, he started off not really feeling himself, but now, oh, now, he, he's on top. That last video he made was savage. If you haven't seen it, you need to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, I wanted to talk about gun game and the fun of Call of Duty, this Call of Duty, because personally, I've been having a lot of fun with it, and you'll hear me say that a lot. And you'll be seeing me doing stupid shots like that a lot in this game because I haven't been playing for a little while. And that's not to say it's because I got tired of the game or anything like that. I just needed a break. I mean, after that double XP weekend, I was burnt out. I really needed a break. And I wanted to experiment with new things and, you know, mess around. And this is a gun I haven't experimented with because I had to test it out just now and see how it shoots. It's a, like, spinny thing on the side. It's like a clock. But yeah, um, so in this Call of Duty, it's really fun. I play consecutive games, you know, I just keep going, going, going until I'm just not feeling like going anymore. And that's how I feel like it should be. A good FPS is a game that makes me just want to keep going, want to keep playing, and just have a good time. I don't always have to do great each game i don't have to be a savage each game but as long as i'm you know having fun i'll keep playing and in the case of like black ops 2 these types of game modes were my bread and butter this is what kept me on the game when i wasn't feeling myself when i was feeling down when i felt like pubs weren't for me i jumped in here and that was mediocrity <laughs> i'm just rhyming all the time sorry but yeah um, these types of game modes were the best to me. They were a lot of fun. Me and Venuity, we would play sticks and stones. It was all about that humiliation. I would take that tomahawk and just throw it at him. It was all about that humiliation. Get him out of the money. If you remember those wager matches from Black Ops 1, wager matches were the best. They were so much fun. I mean, not only was the game mode fun, but there was a lot of like betting with it it was kind of like gambling but you know gambling's not always good but in this case it was virtual currency it's all in good fun but it was nerve-wracking my heart would be pounding because when you hear in the money you wanted to keep that position you felt powerful you felt like you were being rewarded but when you heard out of the money you were scared you really wanted to you know step your game up and get to that money make it but I have to say, I think that this Call of Duty is missing out on those kinds of game modes. That kind of fun. And I'm going on a nice little run here. I don't want to die. Oh, pre-firing. There we go. <laughs> oh, check out the snipe. Check out the snipe. I'm ready. Boop. Let's go. But yeah, so this Call of Duty, I feel like they skimped out on the fun factor. Not to say this game isn't fun because I keep repeating myself. It's a ton of fun. But where are those fun game modes? This is all we have that remains left of like the wager matches and things like that. And you know, Black Ops is known for being that fun Call of Duty. What happened? That's what I'm wondering because I did not remember how to knife. But yeah, Black Ops has always been the fun series, the more fun side of Call of Duty. So why did they decide? To go a different route with this game i'm curious you know with sticks and stones you have the ballistic knife the tomahawk and the crossbow the crossbow has kind of been replaced with the sparrow the sparrow is a specialist ability and the tomahawk still remains but the ballistic knife is nowhere to be found we have a separate knife in this game the knife doesn't come standard your fist comes standard, like how I just used my fist to win this game. But 
I miss the ballistic knife. Not that I use it in pubs or anything like that, but for a game mode like Sticks and Stones, where, you know, it came with a lot of skill and a lot of luck to even land one of those shots. Because it was the shot that made the difference, not stabbing someone. You know, this knife, that's easy. You just sneak up on someone because you have a constant radar and knife them. That's simple. The fist, eh, it's a little bit more difficult, but if someone's injured, that's a one-hit kill. And you can trick people up and just get in their face and boop, boop, it's done. It's combo. It's over. But with... The ballistic knife, it was a whole lot of fun, and I like that. I missed that. That was in Black Ops 1, it was Black Ops 2. I'm wondering why they're breaking away from those, you know, just fun factors. Those little, I don't want to say trolly things, because you don't have to be a troll to wield them. People just like to mess around in game modes and use unorthodox weapons, and that's what the ballistic knife was. An or unorthodox weapon, which generated a whole lot of hype when Black Ops 1 was first revealed. When that thing first came out, People were like, holy shit, ballistic knife? That's wild, a projectile knife? Holy crap. Same for the shock charge. I mean, the shock charge is still in this game, and I think it's gotten a whole lot messier. It's crazy now. But with, you know, tack mask, it's just nothing. But I'd like to see sticks and stones come back, but is that possible at this point? I'm not entirely sure. Because the sparrow is a specialist ability. They could make it so that you have everyone has to use a sparrow and it's a constant specialist power going on, I guess, or bonus. But even that is kind of silly because the spe that sparrow specialist is crazy powerful. I use that and I get triples, doubles. It's just a mess. So, I don't know. They may have to nerf it if they ever wanted to do that. But even then, what about the ballistic knife? Now, the Ballistic Knife, I suppose, could be created for a DLC, but I'm pretty sure they have all those weapons planned out by now. But, that could be a DLC, but at the same time, at the same token, would you really want that as your DLC weapon? I, I think that's pretty lackluster and would be a, a letdown, because, like I said, you don't pull that out in pubs. You just use that for silly game modes like this. And also... My biggest question is what the hell happened to one in the chamber, boys and girls? <laughs> what happened to one in the chamber? That's such a simple game mode that can be created in any Call of Duty because all it takes is a pistol and a bullet. That's it. For those of you who don't know or are new to this whole Call of Duty scene, gun game, oops, not gun game, <laughs> one in the chamber was... A game mode where you would have a pistol and one bullet that's it you could get more bullets by knifing people or you could have your bullet refunded if you kill someone with that bullet and it only takes one bullet to kill someone that's it this was a whole lot of fun and you only had three lives now me personally I had a lot of fun with this some games and I did terribly other games because I have a problem. When I know that I have a limited amount of lives, I kind of choke sometimes. I kind of don't do the best of my ability. And it's kind of sad. I'm saying kind of a lot. <laughs> but, you know, it, it was always fun because it was so nerve-wracking. And that's the kind of adrenaline rush I miss in Call of Duty. What happened to those types of game modes? They have the extras now that are like Mosh Pit and Ground War. But those aren't silly game modes those aren't fun game modes like they can be fun but i mean fun in a crazy wild zany manner those are just you know game modes most of them are like ground wars just a normal game mode that's been in every call of duty i don't see why it's an extra it used to be a standard i hope that in the future they can at least implement some new fun game modes and make something up that's different that we haven't seen before at least if they're not gonna bring back these oldies because I miss them that they, they were a lot of fun and I still have a lot of fun with a gun game but once you you know get into the swing of things it's pretty easy because you're used to all the weapons what I would hope for a gun game at least is for them to switch the weapons up cycle them make it different each week or better yet 
make it a randomizer for that game you'd have like a shiva with red dot the next game a shiva with thermal things like that things of that nature just randomize the perks that would be amazing and i don't understand why it's never been done it's such a simple concept on top of this simple concept cycling weapons that are never the same each game because if you get too used to it it doesn't feel that special it's a lot of just you know picking people off and getting lucky that kind of stuff but that's enough rambling i am personally having a lot of fun on black ops 3 and in other places also recently on black friday i got myself a wii u ha 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 yeah i know a wii u and i've been playing smash bros splatoon that kind of stuff that jazz it was it, it's really fun I'm not the best at Smash Bros by any means. I'm pretty bad at this point. But Splatoon, I body people, man. I'm a savage in those third-person shooters. If you want to see that kind of stuff, I'll be sure to bring that onto this channel. But Smash Bros, even if you guys want that, I'm, I'm kind of scared to even put that up because I'm so bad right now. But hopefully in the future we can reach that point, I guess. But yeah, that's enough of me rambling. I hope you guys like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll catch you in the next one.